going to show you the new lens blur feature available in Lightroom, Lightroom Classic, Lightroom on your mobile device, and Lightroom Web. I'm here in Lightroom Classic version 13. In the development module, you'll see lens blur and right next to it says early access. This is kind of in beta, so you, you could still use it. Works very well. I'm going to twirl this down and to use it, all you need to do is click apply. When you click apply, it started estimating the depth and you may not see it and it may be subtle, but in this case, it picked that background out pretty good. If you need to change the blur amount, you have a slider right here. By default, it's at 50, but if you take it all the way down, you can see the range at how much blur it will give you. And I'm going to take it back to 50. Then you have something called focal range right here. You can adjust the depth at which you want the blur effect. You can expand or contract the slider by holding and dragging it from either side to increase or decrease the range of the effect. You can see how the subject is blurring and you can shift it and that's going to show you your focal range. You can adjust this focal range. You can see the, the background changing and the focus on the subject is changing. Next, you have this icon right here. If you don't care for the way that the apply checkbox determined your subject and the focus. Over here on the right, you have something called point area focus icon. So you can use that to set the focal range manually. Click on that. I have a cross right here and just drag out, say over her hand. You see her hand is in focus. And if you want to get back to that icon next to it is called subject focus. And once you click on that, you're going to set the focal range automatically using the AI subject detection. So I'll click on that. It's kind of what happened when you hit the apply. Then you have something called visualize depth checkbox. When you click on that, you're able to view the depth map of the focus areas in the image in cool and warm tones. Right next to the visualize depth, you have something called refine, twirl that down, and you have two options, focus and blur. Now in this image, her right arm and right hand are still a little bit out of focus. So now we can refine this depth map. In this case, we're gonna click focus and we have a brush. Over here on the right, you see all these options to change the size of the brush, the amount, the feather, and the flow. So now what I can do is I'm gonna make this brush a little bit smaller and I'm going to brush in her arm here. And you can see it's a different color. So it's brushing in these areas right here and it's going to make that area in focus and i can do that to another area that i want blurry also so when i uncheck to visualize depth now her arm and her hand are in focus we also have different bokeh effects if i click on any of these you can see the bokeh in the background is changing depending on the shape i choose and you can also adjust the intensity of these effects you can see that that effect right there is greatly exaggerated by using the boost. So you can change any of these bokeh effects that you might like. So that is the new lens blur in Lightroom. Here is the before and here is the after. I hope you found this video useful. And if you did, please like, share, and subscribe. If you want more videos just like this, click on one of the videos on the screen now. Remember, it's never too late to learn. Thanks for watching.